Hi everyone, it's Vala from Online Combat Battalion with another Armour 3 editor tutorial for you. This one's in response to a question uh, in our Discord from Pasty Leader, who has asked how to add custom radio messages into your missions. And we'll get right into how we do that. First thing you're going to need to do this is a program called Audacity. Uh, and you can get that from audacityteam.org and I'll put the link in the description below. Audacity is a free program that you can use to edit sound files. Okay, so once we've got that downloaded, um, we then open it up and the first thing we want to do is record a sound file. Now you can see you've got buttons up here which are the standard sort of pause, play, stop back, forward and record. So ensure that your microphone is activated and working and I'm just going to record a simple sound file that we can then edit to make it sound like a military radio transmission. Uh, so let me record a sound file. All call signs this is zero alpha, stand by for orders to move in five, out. Okay, so let me just play that and you can you'll be able to hear that it sounds just like a normal voice sound. All call signs this is zero alpha, stand by for orders to move in five, out. Okay, so we want this to sound like a uh, radio transmission. First thing we need to do is left click and highlight the audio track. Then we need to go up to effect and down to equalization and you'll see a button there that's called flatten. So we're just going to press that and then OK. Then we need to go back up to Effect and down to High Pass Filter. Now the default here will be in Frequency 1000 and the Roll Off will be default of 6. But we need to ensure that this is set to 2000 and this one set to 12. So Frequency 2000 and Database 12. Correction. Decibels 12. And then we just click OK. Now, when I play the sound file, you'll hear that it sounds like a military or a radio transmission. Now, one thing Audacity tends to do is reduce the sound of a recording once you've put these high pass filter on. So I'm just going to slide this gain across to 7, which you can do with this little slider here. So it will increase the volume of it a little bit. And let's play it and hear what it sounds like now. All call signs, this is zero alpha. Stand by for orders to move in five, out. Okay, so there's your file. So we now to need to export it. Export this file so we can use it in our mission. Now, Armour 3 uses um, .ogg or og files. So it is best to use it in that format. So we go up to File, Export, Export as OG, and we're going to call it uh, Radio 1. And I'm just going to throw that on the desktop. We've saved that. You can put all these meta tags into the sound file if you like but there's no need just hit OK and then we've got our file the next thing we need to do is obviously open up the Armour 3 editor and place a playable unit now once you've placed the playable unit to get this started we need to save this mission so just go up to scenario save as and I'm going to save that into MP missions as uh, radio sounds. Okay, so our mission is now saved. Now that we've saved our mission, we go into the mission folder, which can be found at this PC, documents, armor three other profiles, your playing name, and MP missions. And you can see I saved it as um, Radio Sounds, which is the name of the mission, and you'll see dot 
and then the name of the map which is in this case bootcamp underscore ACR okay in this folder we need to firstly create a folder and I've created a folder in there called sound to create a folder you right click go to new create folder and then name it whatever you like okay that's how you create a folder so I've created a folder called sound in that folder I have placed our radio1.ogg file that we saved in audacity okay so we need to note that file name radio1.ogg now we'll go back what we need to create now is uh, actually before we do that if you're in Windows 10 and I assume that most of you would be go up to view and ensure that file name extensions extensions and hidden items are both checked so you can see file extensions okay once you've done that right click go to new and down to text document and we're going to call this description dot ext and you'll get a windows error saying do you want to change the file extension just say yes in description ext is where we put the code that tells the mission that it needs to play sound files and how to play them so we're going to open that up and it's blank at the moment now I've already created uh, the code that I need and I'm just going to paste that in there and I'll put that into a paste bin document that uh, I'll add into the description below so you can just highlight it copy it and put it into your own ext or description.ext file so don't worry too much about um, how to type all this out because that'll be done for you but you'll see at the top here we've got class CFG sounds so this is telling well this will tell the mission that these are the sounds that we're going to be playing in the mission um, the important things to note here are firstly the <coughs> name equals and I've put radio 1 you also have a look down here and this is the path to the sound okay so you'll see sound backslash radio 1 dot ogg which is referencing this folder here which is in your mission directory okay we go back there I've also put something down here which you can change if you wish um, this here and you see I've got the word task requirements this will actually pop up as text on your screen uh, when the sound plays just a little extra added thing and I'm just going to put in there I'm going to call it notice to move just because we've saved a sound that tells people they've got um, a notice to move command coming so I'm just going to save that something that's quite important to remember is you have the name here of class radio 1 and then we have the name radio 1 now that is just a name for the mission to pick up that it needs to play a sound it's not the actual name of the sound file so if I was to change uh, this to uh, open I would need to change this to open I would also need to change the trigger within the mission trigger to the word open here okay that will still play the sound radio 1.ogg so the actual file name of the sound is not the same as the name for the sound in the description.ext I hope that's not confusing if it is let me know and I'll help you out also important is just here in the path where the sound is you have some numbers here this first number is the volume 
at which the sound will play. So it's currently set to 1. I'm going to set that to 2. And you really don't want to play with this last number here because that is the speed at which the sound plays. So at the moment it's 1.0 which means it will play at normal speed. If I change that to 2.0 or to 1.4 or something it would play the sound faster. Okay back in the editor I've placed down a trigger. Uh, in this trigger uh, I'm going to open it up. Activation type is currently blue 4. I'm just going to set that to any player present. And you'll see in the condition field we have call and in brackets the word this. In on activation we have call and in brackets play sound inverted commas radio 1 semicolon end bracket. So it's telling the mission that when any player is present in this trigger it will play the radio 1 sound. And remember the radio 1 sound is the name of the sound in the description.ext file, not the actual name of the sound file. Something that's quite important to remember is you have the name here of class radio 1 and then we have the name radio 1. Now that is just a name for the mission to pick up that it needs to play a sound. It's not the actual name of the sound file. So if I was to change uh, this to uh, open, I would need to change this to open. I would also need to change the trigger within the mission Just quickly get another trigger to the word open here. Okay, that will still play the sound radio1.ogg. So the actual file name of the sound is not the same as the name for the sound in the description.ext. I hope that's not confusing. If it is, let me know and I'll help you out. So we're in the mission and we've got the trigger to our front and we're going to walk into it. All call signs, this is Zero Alpha, stand by for orders to move in five, out. So there's your sound played and a little uh, tag on the screen at the bottom says notice to move. So that is how you do it. Um, if you've enjoyed this, give us a thumbs up and a subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you have any questions or you're not sure about something or it was a little bit confusing or I went too fast, just let me know in the comments below. Alternatively, you can come and see us in our Discord uh, and uh, you can ask me directly there and I'll give you a hand. As always, really appreciate you guys and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.